Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. So, we killed a few Grand Dragons, got everybody leveled up a bit, and we're ready to head out. Also, I went back to Dragon's Gate to restock my uh, Phoenix Downs. And I knew there was some kind of lizard along the way that you could have Quinn eat to learn Mighty Guard. It's on the plains, uh, out where you, uh, on the way between Dragon's Gate and Gizma Luke Grotto, uh, where the Q Marsh is, where you find her, there's a dragon looking thing. It looks like a little dragon with a scorpion tail. It's called Serpio. Eat that thing, and that teaches you Mighty Guard. So we have Mighty Guard now. Other than that, I forgot to put Quina, or not Quina, uh, I forgot to put Frey in the front line. Jumps good from the back row and all that, but. It's really only necessary if you're, you know, actively using jump and fighting really tough enemies. For the most part, it's just faster to, you know, use your normal attack. So, Clara. The tempest subsides. By the gods! Come on, let's go while we can! Indeed, let us press on. Must hurry! Must fight yummy yummies! Speaking of yummy yummies, uh, where's. My, there we go. Green tea! Back to green tea and peach mango. What's this? Nope, oh, shut tight. Tinker with everything. didn't see that. Magician shoes. That's probably something Vivi could re equip. Yeah, he could use that after he learns auto reflect. Something tells me you're not supposed to attack the core while it's up.
lovely arc. I can get high potions off the body, at least. Hmm. I already have a nice... Or, had a nice stat. Well, have one. Burt Parakeet. Oh yeah, I did manage to eat a Grand Dragon. It tasted bad. Did that kill her? No, okay, it was just expel, basically. Alright, so that's just up there. Dark, I can't see a thing. Uh oh, sand's coming in. Ah. treasure chest came up here, but the other ones didn't. Can eat. Can eat the core. Can you eat the sand golem? Highly unlikely. If you can't eat the core, you probably can't eat the golem. Okay.
Hey, we got a letter for you. Koopo, strange people came into town and destroyed the entire place. What the heck is going on, Koopo? I don't want to see any more pointy hats. Mona should be careful, too. Maybe you should move elsewhere. Things are terrible in Burmacia, Koopo. Are we going to be okay here, Koopo? I'll give you this for the delivery. Yay. I want mail, Koopo. And they get swept away by the sand. Moogle does not have hero tags. Cheapskate motherfucker. Oh, hero! Or Sandy Mangina. Need more high potion. More high potion. High potion. Yeah. There we go. Flamer staff. We gotta equip that next to learn Fyra. Teach auto potion. That looks like the way forward. Sand Golem. Need more high potion. Need all the high potion. Pardon me, sir, I beg to differ. Why you're still receiving potions and treasure chests, so is. Hmm.
gotta... Okay, I think this is actually the way forward, so... I think we want to go down and up that other path. And I think out there is an area where we can encounter another zoo. <sighs> Fuck it. Itch. Cool. Now we can get that treasure. Let's get into a fight out here, though. I want to, uh... See if we can count... No, this is still indoors. Ooh, these are new creatures, though. Hello. You're... new and strange and weird. You foolish fool. Matra magic. I wonder what it's like in this one. I still never really got that. It's like, yes, we are going to induce Berserk on one of your fighters. I mean, I can see if they specifically targeted magic users, but... It always struck me as odd whenever it would just be like, yeah, we're going to use this on one of your fighters. The thing that's going to use its physical attacks regardless. And then it's going to go completely ape shit with bonus damage and rape your ass. I mean, I mean like, why would you bother? Why would you do that? So, was this worth it? Eh. So what happens if I get sucked down into this? Oh, you get into a fight. You get into a fight with... Sand Golem? Oh, a Sand Scorpion. Um... Um... Okay. Oh, that's still, like, a hundred experience for one of those. Okay, there's outdoorsiness here. Can we fight a giant zoo thingy? Uh, never mind. Actually, this would probably be more promising. A Geshel Green, really? Game, we're gonna have to have a talk about what you think treasure is. Hello, giant parakeet monster from hell. Not, yeah, you can eat Vivi. He's a little more bite-sized than Quinna. 
I don't mind if you eat Vivi so much. I have issue when you eat the person that's going to eat you. I also have issue when Zidane fucking murders shit. God damn it, you monkey-tailed motherfucker. I don't give a fa I don't give a fuck if you can just this just go SSJ fucking four straight out the fucking gate. You fucking pink haired motherfucker. Okay, so let's not blast it with fucking Fundara. Instead we'll have Freya attack it. Zidane attack it, and then we'll have Torna try to eat it. Oh, balls. It's dead again. Okay, that's not gonna work. So, Freya's going to throw it, fuck it, with her Mithril Spear. God damn it. Alright, take whatever. We'll have Freya hit it, and then Quinn will try to eat it. Actually, then we'll have VV. We'll have Freya hit. Oh, well. Then we'll have VV cast fire. And then we'll have. You know, we'll cook it a little bit. Okay, there we go. That should be fine. And now it's going to eat VV. Okay, so the giant flying buzzer tastes like shit. I guess that's to be expected. But we did learn Thundara. So now BV can learn, start learning uh, that stuff. Is there anything that raises fire attack? No, not really. Well, at least now we know that the big fat buzzard isn't worth shit. Although, we might have learned White Wind from it. But we learned White Wind from the Garuda. Played our settlement. Might you be Lady Freya? Indeed, I am. We have awaited your coming, my lady. How... how did you come to know my identity? The King of Bermesia has requested that we guide you to him. Long live the King! Take me to him immediately! At once, my lady. Zidane, I shall go see the King. Why not take this chance to rest? Yeah, good idea. This way, my lady. Allow me to be your guide and show you our town? Sure. Please walk this way, sirs. I go find yummy yummies by myself! This is our source of water. Please don't piss in it. I shall elaborate later on how we have water so high up here. For now, follow our next stop. Or now for our next stop. So, here's our water. <laughs> this is our porn theater. <laughs> and this is the liveliest part of our town. Oh, jeez. But there's no market today, so the usual crowd is gone. Let's move on. How do you put up with the fucking constant? Eh, you probably got you probably used to it if you live here. This windmill brings the blessings of water to our humble town. It uses the power of the sandstorm to pump water up from the ground. Come, next I shall show you the observatory. But if you slow the sandstorm down by 
uh, harnessed into wind power, then, then, yeah, fucking goddamn Republican morons. If we harness the power, if we harness wind power, it'll slow the wind down and the earth will get hotter. That's our government. <laughs> That's one of the people in charge of our, our power council. <laughs> the observatory is where the citizenry comes to relax. Here we observe our protector, the sandstorm, and here we pray to it. Next is the cathedral, the last stop in our tour. The other one that made me facepalm was the... If... The sun is a finite source of energy, therefore we shouldn't use it, we shouldn't harness its power. It's like, pull Big Oil's dick out of your fucking mouth already, you assholes. The high priest who brings peace to our souls resides in the cathedral. The king of Bermesia and Lady Freya are meeting inside this building. It also houses the harp whose magic stone powers the sandstorm. Let us make our way back. And that concludes the tour. Thanks a lot. M maybe I should ask her again to show me around. I haven't been a guide in ages. It's over here. Hmm, somebody was saving money here. Hero tax! Well. Hmm? Hmm, Phoenix Pinion. The tax man cometh! The tax man fucking cometh! Uh oh. No yummy yummies. This town got no yummy yummies anywhere. You know, make famous Alexandrian dish queen's meal. You know, have famous Southgate bunt cake. Well, I think some townsfolk are gonna go missing. Oh boy, a shiny piece of rock. We. Rut row. Look! Pointy headed devil! D don't come any closer! You demon! Leave my family alone! Oh, VB. Only a tiny fraction was made to clay row. Damn it! I hope everyone who's seen Barmesi is doing okay. No, nope, they're probably dead. The sandstorm that protects our town is powered by magic. To keep the storm in motion, we perform a sacred dance to the melody of a harp adorned with the magic stone. Well, on the bright side, at least your Hocus Pocus actually does something. Unlike some other people's Hocus Pocus and her magic space wizard, but, eh, you know. Are you guys picking on Vivi? It's my first time away from home. I can't stand the same storm. It's too loud. Will we ever see Bermesia again? Yeah, just go down the tree and avoid the giant buzzards. Hey, I remember meeting you in Bermesia. If there's anything I can do, just ask. Hello. You have stuff. I have Maltina. Mithril armlet. Mm. I looted the armory on the way out. Here, buy my shit.
Hmm, that would increase the speed. No, I want strength. Ah, so that's how we get bug killer. You're still learning that shit. See, if it wasn't for the damn synthesis things, I wouldn't have to overbuy all that stuff. But they make me do it. Ooh, ether. Why that's next to a bed, um, well, uh, hmm. There's a letter for Zidane. I decided to start a small theater, but I ain't had any luck finding actors. Do you know any good actors who are looking for work? Man, how I wish y'all... Oh, I wish y'all were here. Come to think of it, you Tantalus guys look look like a bunch of outlaws. Just kidding. Koopo, is she looking for actors? I want to become an actor. You want mail, Koopo. You can write your own, write to yourself. Pretend you're somebody else and then write to yourself and tell yourself how awesome you are. Or some shit. I don't fucking know. There's a Moogle down in the tree trunk. You always go down there. Uh, no. Really? Well, eh, I guess you had an, an ether upstairs. Ether and an echo screen. It's... Hmm, still kind of pitiful for hero attacks. I, I haven't heard anyone. You bastard! You killed my father! Bastard! 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 Well, well. A bit touchy today, aren't we? He's one of the demons that sacked Bermacia. I, I haven't heard anyone. I have a few items, actually. Ah, you have a few items, actually. Well, I'm not quite sure what trouble does again, but I'll buy some extra anointments just to... yeah. Vera has not seen visitors for hundreds of years. Yeah, I can tell! And I can probably understand why Jeebus fucking H. Christ on a goddamn bike. VV, are you getting... Oh, you're out here. Are you done tormenting VV? I've never done anything bad. God damn it, Dan. Fuck you, Lieutenant Dan. Well, that's some okay hero attacks. Is there anything like... I didn't know if I could like run up that tree branch. Lieutenant Dan. They're a mushroom. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Mushroom! I never see this kind of mushroom before. I hope it's edible. Oh shit! Well, now everybody's gonna die. She's gonna think everything's food. I wonder where she learned to speak so strangely. Are you a friend of that strange apron-clad individual? Yes, I know that individual, but it's in its own situation right now. Right. Individual situation. Individual situation. Okay. Well, Quinn is not tripping balls trying to eat everybody, so I think we're safe?
The beast has been satiated for now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There's... No. Thou wilt give me thy hero attacks. No! Auto-scrolly thingy. Fuck you. I'm looking for hero attacks. Go away. But Macians are li like us clarins in that both societies value dance. Our tradition, however, is older, thus our dances have a greater power than those of the of Bermacia. Oh, let's not get into this. Got some fucking bitch just going around, fucking tap dancing like, You got served, motherfucker! You got served! And then a war breaks out here and everyone dies. Clarin people are kind of stiff, but the nice ones you get to know them. We're so happy the Clarins decided to take us in. In days of old, the folk of Clara and Bermacia lived under the same sky. The Clarins fled to the street to avoid conflict with the Bermacians, who, all, who began to value the arts of war. Oh, please do not tell me that they are going to try to be peaceable with things. Ooh, another yellow scarf. Oh, I do not wish to talk with the... I'm afraid I can't let you pass. I have a message for Master Zidane from Lady Freya. I was told to convey the following. Zidane, this may take some time, so please wait at the inn. Well, I think I've done a fairly decent job at pillaging the village. Even if it was just a bunch of lousy echo scree... HELP! Uh-oh. What is the matter? The antlion's mauling a kid! The antlion? It's usually so docile, how could... We gotta teach that beast a lesson. This calls for immediate action. I shall inform the high priest at once. Hey, buddy, where are you going? These clearings are also damn lazy. You there, give me a hand if you think you're good enough. You were fucking with Vivi. I don't think I should help you, but plot dictates that I must. Therefore, I will. Can I have it sand ruby when I kill it? So that's the ant lion. Ah, help me! No! Hang in there, champ. We're gonna save you. Is the child all right, Zidane? Yeah, he's fine. Like hell, I'm fine. That voice. Might it be Prince Puck? Freya, where you been? Moo. Ah! Ow! That hurt, you stupid jerk! Oh, here it comes. I call dibs. There's a big old ant lion and it's really furry. We're gonna light it on fire. Maybe not. Moo? Alright, give me your secrets. Ooh. Hmm. That doesn't actually last. Oh, that's what Matra Magic does now. Son. Ooh. Well, it's time to show off what Freya does in trance mode. Well, we got a mithril vest. Ooh. 1,831 MP? Okay. Uh... 
So, when Freya jumps in trance mode, she hits all enemies with her spear. And she stays up there for the entirety of her trance mode. I still have no idea what Trouble does. Come on, just give me your treasure. Before Freya decides to kill you, somehow. Maybe it makes it so you can't trance. Or not. I think it's out of magic. Not quite sure though. Might just be a hunch. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. RNG, stop being a bitch. Okay, you splooged on Vivi. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, doesn't look like Vivi's gonna be focusing anymore. God damn it, Zidane. destroyed all of your MP. I call shenanigans. For fuck's sake! What kind of thief are you? A bad one. Maybe if you're unblinded. Will that help? Will vision assist you in stealing? Apparently, that does not cure trouble. Huh. For fuck's sake, man! I want that item! Let's go item baha. Give me items, fuck stick. Your last item right now. What is it? Just t t tell me if it's is it worth is it worth going after? Yes. Unfortunately, it is. Fuck. Give me the gold helmet. Oh my god, how long are we gonna be here? RNG be damned. Do I have to pause the video? I will turn this LP around, motherfucker, if you do not give me that golden helm right now. Okay, hang on. We'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to give this one more fucking try. If Zvane does not steal it on this attempt, Vivi is literally going to ice this motherfucker. Okay. Fuck you. Choke on Frosty the Snowman's frigid penis.
So yeah, I so I, I figured out what it what trouble does. It anybody with trouble who gets hit, uh, the other people in the party who are inflicted with trouble take half the damage as well. Are you all right, Your Highness? Hey, Freya, what's up? But how can this be? I heard that Your Highness disappeared upon leaving Bermacia. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go at once to the cathedral to inform His Majesty. My old man, huh? Nah, I don't want to see him. Just tell him I said hi, okay? Later. But, Your Highness! Take care, Vivi! He's so rude. Vivi, much nicer. He's the first friend I ever made. I've got to tell him something. I see. So you saw Puck, eh? As mischievous as ever, Your Majesty. I haven't seen him in ages. I heard His Highness left Bermacia one month after me. That makes it three years. And yet both you and Puck decided to return to me... Er, and yet you and Puck both decided to return to me at this time of danger. I am grateful. Freya, we shall conduct an ancient ceremony to strengthen the sandstorm. Surely no enemy of ours will attack with the powerful storm protecting Clara. And with the help of a dragon knight like you, the storm should grow even more powerful. Ah, the ceremony from the time when Bermacia and Clara were wrought one. I understand. Zidane, I met with utter failure when trying to defend Bermacia. And I will not allow Bronn to exert her will upon us any longer. You've changed, Freya. I didn't think you were so strong when I first met you. I could not bring peace to Bermacia and thus fulfill Sir Fratley's wish. But now all I can do is protect this beautiful place. Yeah, protecting Clay was Clay was one of the best is the best thing you can do for yourself. Doing so will help me. Magic Tamp. The strings have snapped. A terrible omen this is. Well, I guess Freya's all left feet. I can't believe the sandstorm disappeared. What happened? I don't know. I have never witnessed anything like this since we settled here. On the harp, there was a magic stone. Since ancient times, we've used the power of the stone to control the sandstorm. Perhaps someone's trying to invade Clara? I fear that you may be right, my lord. 
I only hope our enemies don't come up the trunk. That kind of be the only way? Hmm. How dare they imprison us like this? Those wretched court jesters? Zorn and Thorn will never get away with this. Uh, I can't believe I got dragged into this. No one asked you to meddle in our affairs. It's pretty sad getting backstabbed by your own queen. This is all some kind of mistake. I know the queen. She would never betray me. Wishful thinking. Who knows what she's going to do to the princess. I must save the princess at all costs. I wonder if Mother will even listen to me. Why did she attack Bramacia? Why did she arrest us like this? I must be sincere with her. She hasn't been herself lately. Actually, she's been acting rather strange since my birthday last year. The same day that tall man visited us. Maybe he had something to do with it. Come to think of it, that was when things began to change. Dr. Tottlet left Alexandria shortly afterwards, too. What happened that day? Queen Bronze summoned you! Come with us! What? How dare you speak to me like that! Quiet! With us you are coming, and that is that! What was that phrase? Oh yeah. Get off me, you scumbag! What was that? I do not understand. Understand what she said? I do not either. Enough, now come with us. Hurry up! For so long the Queen has waited? Mother... Mm, darling, there you are! Where were you? I've been worried sick! Here, come closer! Mother, there's something I need to ask you. What is it, darling? I'll tell you anything you wish to know. Did you... Is it true that you're responsible for the destruction of Bermessia? Oh, well, no wonder you look so concerned. That is far from the truth, Garnet. You see, those Bermessian rats have been plotting to destroy Alexandria for some time. I just couldn't wait for them to attack and destroy our precious kingdom. So I had no choice but to take the initiative. Mother, is that really the truth? Of course! <laughs> I would never lie to you. I don't believe you! Oh, darling, what's wrong? Why wouldn't you believe your own mother? <sighs> May I also play a part in this act? Act? Yes, an act from a beautiful play. There's a knight on a white horse, and a beautiful princess. It is a tale of tragic love. Overcome by grief, the princess must sleep for a hundred years. You... I've seen you before. It appears we were destined to meet again. My sweet angel, come to me. I will take you to a world of dreams. She is beautiful, even in sleep. Hmm, it be the little girl. Lord, Lord! Remember to extract the Eidolons from Garnet. And somebody get me some more ho-hos! A belated happy birthday, princess. <laughs> 16 years old, the princess has become. Draw the idol, the Eidolons from her, finally we can. Eidolons of eternal life, Eidolons of infinite power, or dolens. Arise from the 16 years sleep and let there be life and light and all that other jazz. We are fucking jesters. 
The time has come. The time is now. Odin, warrior of the dark, come forth. What are you doing here? Tell me, why do you think the sandstorm disappeared? I don't know. I was surprised that there even was a sandstorm. Did you know that the sandstorm was here for a thousand years? And in all that time it never disappeared. Not even once. Perhaps Braun is behind all this. What about the guy who's with Braun? Actually, I'm more concerned about the guy with Braun and Bermissio was. That man. I wonder who he was. Today, I'm going to head down and find out where the sandstorm disappeared. Hey, I was thinking the same thing. Let's go together. I'm going to go find Vivi and Quina. Meet you at the town entrance. Well, at least they healed us. And we'll be back next time. Catch you in a bit.